Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In the previous video lecture, we discussed a problem based on amplitude modulation. In this video also, we are going to discuss the same kind of problem. But you need to know a few concepts regarding this amplitude modulation before solving this problem. In amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed according to the variations in the amplitude of the message signal. We do not transmit the modulating signal as it is. First, we take a high frequency carrier wave and then change its amplitude. If it is amplitude modulation, then we change its amplitude. And if it is a frequency or phase modulation, then we change its frequency or phase. The frequency or phase or amplitude of the carrier wave is changed. Okay. So in this case of amplitude modulation, we change the amplitude of the carrier wave according to the changes in the amplitude variations of the modulating signal. So now let's uh, discuss this problem. The problem states that an AM transmitter radiates 9 kW, 9 kilowatts of power when the carrier is unmodulated. Okay. Before modulation, the carrier, the plane carrier wave before modulation, that is the power of the carrier wave is given to be 9 kilowatts. That is PC. Okay. It is given. It is 9 kilowatts. But when it is modulated, then its power becomes 10.125. That is after modulation, the total power. Actually, the modulated wave contains three components, the carrier wave, the upper sideband and the lower sideband. So the power of the carrier is given to be 9 kilowatts. That is before modulation. And after modulation, the total power of this uh, AM transmitted wave becomes 10.125 kilowatt. I want to find the modulation index and the percent modulation from this given condition. I will use this uh, equation. I will use this relation that power total that is a total power is equal to power of the carrier into 1 plus m a square by 2 m is a modulation index this is the carrier power. This is a total power. So I have been given the power of the carrier and power total and I want to find the m the modulation index. So I will easily calculate it. The another part of this uh, question is that uh, if another sine wave corresponding to 40% modulation is simultaneously transmitted, then calculate the total radiated power. We want to calculate here the total radiated power when this is again modulated by simultaneously at the same time it is being modulated by another sinusoidal wave having 40% modulation. So first let me calculate this m okay this initial modulation index uh, corresponding to this in this first part of the question so we can we have pt and pc and we can easily calculate m pt is given as 10.125 kilowatts and pc as 9 kilowatts just uh, put these values in this equation it is very easy so i will get this ma square okay ma square by 2 is this and ma will be this it is very simple mathematics you can calculate it so i get this ma as 0 0.5 okay now according to the second part this is the modulation index for the first case and uh, again the 40 percent it is being modulated by another sinusoidal wave with 40 percent modulation 40 percent modulation is the percent modulation and uh, from this i can get the modulation index divided by 100 so i will get uh, 40 by 100 as 0.4 so 0.4 is uh, the modulation index for the second case when it is being modulated by another wave as we know that the total uh, the net modulation index if we modulate it by multiple signals is given by mt t means total mt is equals to under root of m1 square plus m2 square so mt will be 0.5 square plus under root of 0.5 square plus 0.4 square we can also modulate this same wave same wave with uh, more uh, modulating waves then we will have m1 square plus m2 square plus m3 square plus m4 m4 square and so on so i got the combined value that is the net value of modulation index as 0 0.64 now when i will use this uh, relation that we have seen that the power total in this case the power total will be will change so power total will be power of the carrier 1 plus mt square by 2 here we will use this mt 
as we are going to uh, calculate the effect combined effect the total power after the multiple signals modulation when it is being modulated by multiple signals put the values power of the carrier was same 9 kilowatt given initially and here the thing that has changed is mt at the place of m i will replace it by mt mt is 0 0.64 so 1 plus 0 0.64 square by 2 i will get power total new in this case will be 10.84 kilowatt initially what was the power initially the total power was power total was 10.125 kilowatt but now it has increased to 10.84 kilowatts after modulation by another sinusoidal modulating signal so this was the concept of uh, power in case of modulation uh, amplitude modulation in next videos we will see more problems related to this topic and also we will cover more other topics so keep watching engineering made easy and if you have not subscribed my channel please uh, don't forget to subscribe it and like and share the video with your friends if you liked it thank you for watching see you soon in the next video bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye